Thank you. So, hello, everybody. I just saw um, outside the reception. This is really loud. I just saw that outside the reception that you guys start so early, and I'm just almost like staying on one foot. So, I'm giving it all to you guys for waking up early and starting the day off correctly. So, uh, my name is Inspiring Vanessa. You can probably hear by my accent that I'm from the UK. Um, we're currently out here on holiday. I think I'm leaving next week, but I've had a really nice time. You guys have the opportunity to live here in Dubai. I wish I could live in Dubai. It's like, the weather is amazing. And in London, if you ever look on the app on the phone, don't even, don't even look because the weather is absolutely ridiculous in London. But um, today we're going to talk about finding the joy in the journey. So, can anybody raise their hand and tell me what? what they think that means, finding joy in the journey. Yeah? Definitely, give a round of applause. <laughs> so definitely what you said, um, and it trying to figure out the good parts of the bad parts. So everyone has a rough day, right? Everyone has a rough day when you just feel like you want to lie in bed all day, just eat food, basically every single day. But everyone has bad days, and what we need to learn is to embrace those bad days and turn them into positive days. So a lot of people think that when you want to find success, you want to achieve a goal or a dream, you find joy in that dream. You, you're going to be happy when you get to that dream. But what people don't tell you is that during the journey of trying to get to that dream, that's where you're going to find happiness as well. It's the same when people say, oh yeah, you're going to find gold at the end of the rainbow. So everyone thinks that when you find the gold, you're going to be really happy about it. But no one tells you, yeah, you're going to be walking a really long time. You don't know if you're ever going to find it. But you never know that that adventure is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness to your life. Does that make sense? Okay. So... Obviously, everybody has a dream. Raise your hand if you've dreamed before. That should be everyone in the room, yeah. And um, everyone has always dreamed before, but we definitely know that there are going to be hard things about it. Because I know that during my journey, we do motivational speaking for about three years, and I know that you get ups and downs like a roller coaster. Nothing is ever going to go just straight on. Everything's going to go up and down. And you're always going to have good days and bad days, as we were saying, but we always need to learn to be happy during those bad days. And if we always think about the bad days, then we're going to end up feeling negative and feeling miserable, which we don't want to feel like, because I feel like we're kids, we're supposed to be happy and cheery, but even as kids, you do have bad days. So you always need to make sure that you're being positive. So that is really going to keep you going on your journey to success or depending on whatever your success is. My success is traveling around the world or, I don't know, having um, a million subscribers on YouTube. I don't know what it is. But your idea of success might be to have all the cars, all the Ferrari cars, all the Lamborghinis. You can go there like one every single week. I don't know. That could be your idea of success or your idea of a dream. But to get to those dreams, you're going to need to work really hard. And you always need to understand that everyone's journey comes at a different speed. Someone might get to their success faster than you even realised. And then you may have a slower journey trying to figure out how you're going to get to this dream. Does this make sense? So don't ever try to rush yourself, because then you're going to end up getting worn out. And when you get worn out, you get really tired, and then you soon start to think, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe this is not right for me. Maybe this is not my destined goal. And the more you think about when you get worn out, the more you feel like you get tired, the more you feel like you get negative, the more you moan. So it's very, very important that you always stay positive in the journey, whether you feel absolutely terrible or whether you feel like it's the best day ever. Does this make sense? Alright, um, yeah, so we all have journeys at different speeds, so some people may have quite slow journeys, some people may have really fast journeys, but I believe that your journey is picked specifically for you, so if it takes you a while to understand some things or to really learn something from your journey, it might be long enough to let you learn or elements out of it, and some people's journeys may be really fast, so that's why you see people who go viral overnight, but sometimes you might want to post something you think is going to go viral and then it doesn't. So it's really important to understand and fully, I think, accept that your journey is going to be in that kind of 
in that rate or in that speed. So it's always really important to understand that other people's journeys are going to be faster and slower, and maybe medium. And you just need to accept what kind of journey you're going to have. So finding joy in the journey I think is really important because as we grow up, it usually seems like we feel that when we go into adults, everything's going to be absolutely fine and it ends up not being absolutely fine, if that makes sense. And obviously as you grow up, you kind of understand and see the real world around it. So it's always really important to stay positive and maintain that positive mindset because the minute you're going to start thinking negatively, you're going to start adapting this negative mindset. And that's when people start working really hard 24-7 and then they end up being exhausted by the end of the day. And I'm pretty sure that no one wants to live like that. People want to live happily. People want to live a relaxing lifestyle. So, Finding joy in the journey is super crucial. It's not an optional thing. It's definitely a priority. You need to find joy. And I feel like it's really, really important because people are always going to be like, oh yeah, it's going to be great and I'm going to be super happy and they have all of this at the end of it. But no one talks about the struggles that you go through. I don't know if you guys know, but there's um, this image that I think went viral a couple of years ago, and it's called the iceberg. So it says what people see on the top of the iceberg, and then at the bottom, it's kind of like the Titanic a little bit. So it has on the top what people see, and at the bottom what people don't see, and it shows basically all the struggles that people go through, but no one sees the struggle. You never see Kim Kardashian, I don't know if people watch Kim Kardashian, but the Kardashians, but you never see Kim Kardashian waking up and being like, oh, I don't really want to do my makeup or do this or do whatever. People don't show the struggles because it seems to be unprofessional or it's not like great for your, I don't know, impression on social media or whatever it is, it's so, so important to just accept and just be clear with everybody how you're feeling all the time. Because I feel like that if we block up our feelings, then it's going to be really bad and that we should just express ourselves. And in the journey that you want to go through, whether you want to travel, whether you want to be a dancer, whether you want to be a singer, whether you want to be, I don't know, a doctor, whatever it is that you want to achieve, you need to understand there are going to be ups and downs. No one's going to get it in the click of a finger, unfortunately. I don't know why I just did that. I just got about five months from Avengers and Infinity War, but you know. But um, it's always really, really important that when you're on that journey, that you need to accept that you're going to be through struggle, and it's going to be really hard. Being very, very honest, it's going to be really hard. It may feel like it's going to end up being fine, but you never know when it's going to go like on another route. And I feel like finding joy in the journey is something that no one really puts to focus. People are like, yeah, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. But then you need to work hard for it. And so many people think that, oh yeah, these people are going to be like viral over social media and they never work hard for it. But the only reason why they went viral is probably because they were working really hard for it the years back when their footage or whatever happened didn't go viral. That's why you never found out about them. So whenever you think about a famous person in, who's open to the public eye, let's say Oprah Winfrey, she has been through a lot of struggle. Obviously, where she is now has allowed her to be this huge influence across the world. And I feel like well, it's a good um, example of Oprah because she's been shut down by so many TV shows and then she finally got to one because she never gave up. And never giving up is so, so important. It may sound a little bit cliche, but when you give up, you never know if you're like, around the corner to success. So you need to keep on going even though it feels like that you're just keeping going and you're not going to get anywhere. But sometimes I do feel like that. Sometimes people do feel like that. But you always need to understand that you can keep going because you never know when this opportunity is going to come, when this opportunity is going to come. And also opportunities, super, super important. You need to grab them. And it's not like physically grab them because then you're going to look a bit weird like on the road thinking about opportunities and you might grab them back and put the bubbles or whatever it is. But <laughs> it's really important that you grab those opportunities. If there's a new opportunity that may take you out of your comfort zone, take that opportunity anyways. Because that opportunity can help you get can help you take a step closer to your goal, which is really, really important. So I think what I'm trying to say to all of you guys is that 
when you take that opportunity or when an opportunity comes at your door, you need to open the door and be like, hey, come in, because you don't know if that's going to be like a helpful way to get closer to your goal. Does this make sense? Okay, so I'm going to be asking or like uh, participating with you guys a little bit. So can anybody tell me what their dream is if anybody can get out of their comfort zone? <laughs> Anyone could raise their hand? Yeah.
have any questions, feel free to ask me afterwards if you don't have to go to the class yet. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm 12 years old, sorry. <laughs> yes. How did I get into motivational speaking? How did I get into motivational speaking? Um, so I attended an inspirational seminar and one of the speakers there was like, oh Vanessa, you should come on stage. And obviously, if anyone's going to ask you that, you definitely, your first like normal reaction is going to be like, definitely not. I can't go on stage, everyone's going to judge me, but I was eventually like, okay, I can go, but I'll like, have to make it super short and slowly run off stage. So I went on stage and I did some affirmations, and I already knew about this kind of personal development because my mum had already started her own journey. So um, I already knew about affirmations, so I said some affirmations on stage for like 30 seconds, ran back off stage, and during that event, people were like, there were so many motivational speakers, and I was like, wait a minute, can you say that again? A motivational speaker. And I was like, what exactly do you do when you're a motivational speaker? And it was a huge eye opener when someone was like, oh yeah, if you're a motivational speaker, you can travel around the world, you can help people just by talking. And I was like, what kind of job is this? So it was a huge eye opener, and obviously, it's not just talking, your words are very, can be very special to people, can be very fragile, so you can't like have it come across as the wrong thing and that, that comes across as the wrong advice but it was a huge eye opener for me and ever, ever since then I started my social media, my YouTube channel and that's kind of how it grew. So yeah. Anyone have any other questions? Yeah. So you wrote a book, right? So what was the joy in that journey? Give a round of applause for that. Don't any of the other questions were bad, but that was a nice question. You, 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 take, you take the mic out of my hand and you're like, yes, I'm going to speak now. <laughs> um, so the joy of my journey was doing my book. It's a very good question. Um, I would definitely have to say that I was going to write another book before, which was my quote book, which is now out as well. And um, I was going to write that, but we couldn't find it because we wanted it to be like packaged in a small little book. It's like a same size as that one now, but we wanted it to be in a small book. And I was like, hey, mom, we need to have something come out and not have people keep waiting until we find something right. And I was like, oh, why don't you do a public speaking book? And I was like, that's a pretty good idea. And obviously, it's not just about doing speaking and speaking on stage, but it's also about growing your confidence through it as well. My confidence has definitely grown throughout um, my journey of doing speaking. So I think that's a really enjoying the journey and seeing how people are impacted by the book. I see people who have been so shy before, and when they come back and they read the book, and I'm like, you seem like a completely different person. And it kind of amazes me that the stuff that you were writing, like, a couple years ago suddenly is making this huge influence on people so I don't really think that's kind of the joy in making in making the book. So yeah. Anyone have any other questions? Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you're an artist, what do you write? Um, yes, I do a lot of art. Um, so I, well, I still have a business but it was um, I focused on it a little bit more than doing speaking when I kind of like in the first year that I was doing everything I feel like. Um, so I did motivational um, quotes on canvases, so they always had bright colours and then we had quotes on them. And one of the, um, not famous ones, but one of the like the ones that the, the most popular ones were the live the life you have imagined and then they were like rainbow colours on them. So I used to do that. I don't really have that much time to do it, but I feel like I should start doing it again so people can see more artwork. But yeah. That's, that was a question. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do go to school. Um, I wish I could go to school here because in London, if you, if you even took your phone out, it would be taken away. And I can just see people walking in with iPads and laptops and I'm like, can you please just open that more to my school? But yeah, I do go to school. Um, I'm currently on a holiday right now. So just in case you guys thought that I was like missing a whole, <laughs> a whole holiday of school. But yeah, I do go to school. Yeah. Well, um, I'm sorry if you have any other questions, but we kind of need to wrap up now, but thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you have a great day at school.